Okay, right, solve the system by graphing. Now, you're going to do this three ways on the test. Graphing, substitution, and elimination. So here's the graphing one. Now, this is really all about you graphing two lines and uh, just seeing where they cross. Okay, uh, now sometimes you get, uh, I'll try to do it on the, on the test. I'll, I'll, you know, it's nice when they cross, okay? But sometimes you get them to be the same line, sometimes they're parallel. So there's no solution if they're parallel, they're not going to cross. The same line, well, We'll come to stuff like that later, but that's not as interesting. So, uh, in fact, if I look at this one, uh, I actually don't want to do this question. I'm actually going to change that second equation, because can you just look at that and see that the second equation is just three times bigger than the first equation? So if I divide that second equation by three, I'll have the same line. These two are the same lines. It's no fun graphing, all right? So, well, I mean, for me, it's no fun. I mean, for you guys, it's probably easier. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to change this second one. Okay, so I'm going to cross that out. And I'm going to do x minus y equals 3, okay? So we're going to do these two, okay? So 2x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 3. Make it more interesting. Now, you can graph, you can choose to graph whatever you want. Whether you want to do the slope and the y-intercept method, so remember you've got to have it as y equals, and none of these are written as y equals, um, or you can do the x and y intercept method. Remember, when x is 0, what's y? When y is 0, what's x? And that's kind of set up for those. But I'll do one of each uh, uh, for each equation, okay? So, here we go. Um, I'm thinking 2x plus y equals 6. Supposing I want to change that to the y equals the slope intercept so I can graph by the intercept and the slope. Okay, so let's just go over here a little bit. Now, right now, it's 2x plus y equals 6. Okay, so to get to y equals, I need to take away 2x from both sides. This is a simple one, so all you have to do, take away 2x from both sides. Okay, so the actual slope intercept version of the equation is y equals, and I'll write the minus 2x first, negative 2x plus 6. Okay, right, so that's one equation. Uh, that's this first equation here. 2x plus y equals 6, all right? I've changed it to y equals. So how do we graph this? Right, it starts, remember this, it starts at positive 6. That's the y-intercept, that's the number at the end there, when x is 0. And then, if it's got a slope of negative 2, in other words, if you think of it as negative 2 over 1, then it's going to get down 2 and over 1. Okay, make sure you go the right way. Okay, negative goes down and to the right. Positives are up and to the right. So I'm going to go down 2, so down to 5, down to 4, over 1. I'm going to put a point there. Okay? So put a point in front to make it better. So my pen's not very good. Okay, so right there. In other words, don't put it on the left hand side. Okay, over here on the right hand side. There you go, negative 2, it's going downhill from left to right. Now all you do there is, is just draw a straight line between the two. So I can't do that very well, but please, you guys, try and draw the best one you can. So I'm going to keep on going. There we go. Okay, so that's the best negative 2x plus 6 I can do. Uh, y intercept of 6, slope of negative 2. Down 2 over 1. Okay, that's the first one done. By the slope and intercept. Now supposing I choose to do the second one just by the x and y intercepts. So I'm going to do a little table there. Okay, you might have seen this on other videos. So what I'm trying to get out of this is, this is how you do it by the intercepts. When x is 0, what's y? So you get a y-intercept. When y is 0, what's x? You'll have the x-intercept. So when x is 0, right? When x is 0, that x isn't there over here. I'll just have negative y equals 3, okay? Because the x is 0. Now remember, if negative y equals 3, positive y equals positive 3. Negative 3. Right, negative y equals positive 3, positive y equals negative 3. That was close. Right. Okay, I've just changed the signs on both sides. Um, okay, so I'm going to graph that one. Where's that negative 3 y intercept down here at negative 3? All right, there we go. Okay, so I've got the y-intercept. Now let's do the x-intercept by putting the y equal to 0. And there we go. Right, a bit easier. When the y is 0, that's not there. All I'm left with is x equals 3. That's all I'm left with. Okay. And that's, well, actually, I can see the answer right there. That's there. So, okay, so when I try and draw the straight line through this, the 
Oh, my pen. It's just my pen. Okay. Horrendous, but, you know, you guys, you know, use something straight, even the edge of your iPhone. Okay, so that's it. Now, can you see, that's where the two lines cross, at 3, 0. So I forgot to put that point there, sorry. Uh, so that's the answer, I see. 3, 0 is the answer. That is where these two graphs cross, and that's the solution, okay? 3, 0 for solving it by graphing. Draw two straight lines where they cross is the answer.